What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today we're going to be taking a deep look at footstep audio in Modern Warfare 3, as well as all of the perks and field upgrades that have an impact on this audio. So we're going to be comparing the bass footstep audio, bone conduction headsets, the covert sneakers, and the dead silence field upgrade. And before we dive into the basics of this, I want to just point out that with all of these tests, my in-game setting for audio is set to headphone bass boost. That seems to be the setting that works best for me with my particular audio setup, but it may vary depending on what kind of audio setup you have. And let's just dive right into this and have a look at the default footstep sounds. In this situation, there are no perks or field upgrades involved that are affecting the footstep audio, whether that's for me or the enemy player. And let's start this off with tactical sprint. Pay really close attention to the moment you can hear that first footstep audio, as well as just the overall volume of footstep audio as they get closer. So overall, pretty loud, and taking a deep look at that, I managed to hear that first footstep really faintly at about 24 meters or so. Next, let's have a listen to the standard sprint in the same situation. So obviously this is not as loud as Tactical Sprint was, but you can still hear it pretty clearly when the enemy is sprinting, and I was able to pick up that first faint footstep at about 20 meters or so. Now let's have a listen to our walking footstep audio. This is without aiming down sight and without sprinting, but walking at full speed. And this is significantly quieter than a sprinting situation. And in game when there's gunfire and stuff going off, it's unlikely you'll be able to pick this up unless it just happens to be a quiet situation, like a 1v1 in Search and Destroy, for instance. But if I pay really close attention, I could hear that first footstep at about 10 meters or so with walking. Next, let's take a listen to our aim down sight walking, which turned out to be exactly the same as tax stance walking in my test. So I'm just going to show you one of those tests. But let's have a listen to that. And with this one, I was honestly a little bit surprised at how loud this was. Sure, it's obviously nowhere near sprinting, but typically aim down sight walking should almost eliminate your footstep audio. And that's absolutely not happening. If you're within about five meters or so, they can hear your footsteps fairly clearly. Now, of course, a five meter range is very short, so aim down sight walking is still going to be a decent tactic if you don't have covert sneakers or dead silence. But it may not be as good as you may have thought. And then finally, for our base control tests here, we have crouch walking. Let's have a listen to that. With this one, again, it's not completely silent like many people would expect to see in an FPS game. However, that range is very short. It's once again about 5 meters, just like with aim down sight walking. Although I will say the volume of your footsteps are quieter than aim down sight walking when you're crouch walking. So there we go. That's the default footstep audio. Now let's have a look at our bone conduction headset and see what this does to our footstep audio. But before we get into that, I do want to explain at least one element of how this works because you'll probably notice throughout the clips. The first thing the bone conduction headset does is it completely eliminates ambient audio. Like I'm talking straight up muting ambient audio. It doesn't just make it quieter. It mutes it. Have a listen to this. So that's pretty crazy. You might be thinking that I just muted those clips in my video editing software or something. I didn't. That is the full volume clips. It literally mutes ambient audio. And now that we know that, let's also get into the footstep testing because it also boosts footstep audio for enemy players. And once again, let's start this off with our tactical sprint. And after the first clip plays, I am going to transition directly into no bone conduction headset so you can compare the volume at least back to back. So with that, not only was I able to hear that footstep much sooner, I could hear it at about 35 meters rather than 24 meters with the default. It's also quite noticeably louder than if you're not using bone conduction. Next up, same thing, but we'll have a look at our standard sprint. Again, similar story, we can hear it at a longer range. This time I heard it at 27 meters rather than 20 meters without bone conduction. And again, it is a little bit louder as well. Next, let's have a listen to walking footsteps. Again, same story here. At this point, I could hear those walking footsteps at 15 meters rather than 10 meters. After that, we have our aim down sight walking or tax stance walking.
And with this, it's still reasonably faint until you get right up close and personal, but once you do get really close, it's quite loud. Although I could hear that first footstep at about seven and a half meters rather than five. And then finally, let's have a listen to crouch walking. With this, I was able to hear this at about six meters, so just a little bit further than without the bone conduction headset, although I will say that it was quite noticeably louder with these crouch walking footsteps. So there we go, bone conduction headset, it definitely boosts the audible range as well as the volume of the footstep audio, but only for enemy players. It doesn't boost teammate footstep audio like it was doing in the beta, with one exception, and I believe this is a bug. When teammates land from a jump or just dropping off of something, that one particular footstep audio cue is boosted by bone conduction headset, and this can lead to confusion sometimes. You'll hear somebody drop down behind you and it sounds exactly like an enemy, but it turns out to be a teammate. So that is something that's a bit annoying at this point. I do think it's a bug, perhaps they'll get this worked out. Now let's move on to the last thing that's stated in the bone conduction headsets description. And this is the fact that it states that it improves identification of enemy footsteps and gunshots. And that's the key here. So I just did a few tests here. First off at 30 meters, I'm just gonna fade between the clips so you guys can really hear if there's any difference to the audio. But I'll tell you guys right up front, fading between no bone conduction and bone conduction and teammate and enemy, everything does sound exactly the same, but have a listen for yourself. No differences there whatsoever. It doesn't seem to be affecting the gunfire audio, at least at 30 meters. However, I did another test at 50 meters. And once again, I noticed all of these clips sound exactly the same with one exception. And this is at 50 meters, my teammates gunfire audio is noticeably quieter when I'm using bone conduction headset. But have a listen for yourself. So that's pretty interesting. It looks like bone conduction at a certain range will dampen your teammates audio to some degree. I don't know how helpful this is actually going to be, but it is something I noticed in my testing. I should mention, I also tested this with suppressors and it seemed like it had no impact whatsoever with those. So that's bone conduction. Now let's move into covert sneakers and the dead silence field upgrade. And this is gonna be pretty easy when it comes to footsteps. For both of these, they completely eliminate footstep audio even against bone conduction headset. So bone conduction headset does nothing to counter either covert sneakers or dead silence. And based on my testing, they work exactly the same when it comes to footstep audio. Now, one thing I will point out, there are still some extremely quiet and subtle audio cues that aren't footsteps that will be generated while moving around. So this is like the fabric moving on your character model. Also, if you're switching weapons, there's a very, very faint sound you'll hear there. And covert sneakers and dead silence don't eliminate these sounds. So it's still technically possible to hear someone, but have a listen to how quiet this actually is. I'm using bone conduction headset here, and the enemy is using the dead silence field up Great, although it works exactly the same as covert sneakers here. So if you were paying really close attention there, you can technically still hear that enemy player. You're not hearing their footsteps though, you're just hearing some of their gear shifting around on their character model. So for Covert Sneakers, this is working for you 100% of the time, as long as you have that equipped. Whereas with the Dead Silence Field upgrade, of course, this is a limited time use. So let's dive a bit deeper into the stats of that. And for the most part, it's the same as the Modern Warfare 2 version of the Dead Silence Field upgrade. This has a 94 second base charge time. It lasts for a total of 15 seconds, but for every kill you get, this will reset the timer. And the animation timing is identical to Modern Warfare 2, so you have to pull that device out and press the button. You can hip fire during this process, but you won't be able to aim down sight. Now, one of the big changes here is the audible beeping sound is very different. You can still hear yourself kind of click it, but it doesn't sound like you have that really loud audible beep which is great, and from the enemy's perspective, most of the time, they're not going to be hearing a loud beep. However, in some of my tests, we still had a little bit of an artifact there where I was actually hearing a bit of that beeping sound that you don't even hear in first person. However, this appears to be within a very specific range window, and like if they're right up next to you, you won't hear it. But if they're like exactly six meters away, you may hear a bit of that beeping sound, which is a bit unfortunate. Additionally, you'll notice a slight increase to your field of view. However, this doesn't change your movement speed at all. It might feel like you're moving faster because increased field of view will give you that effect, but you aren't actually moving any faster. 
Outside of those factors, this works exactly the same as Covert Sneakers based on my testing, completely eliminates footstep audio, and with that, that is going to wrap it up for all of the testing with footsteps and the perks relating to the footsteps in Modern Warfare 3. As for some of my basic thoughts on this, I will say Covert Sneakers are definitely a bit of a crutch in the game's current state. I think that's largely just due to the fact that many of the other boots just pale in comparison to the power of these. And I do think some buffs to the other boots could really go a long way to helping them compete a bit more effectively against Covert Sneakers. Another reason these feel a bit crutchy is I do think the bass footstep audio is pretty loud and quite easy to hear, even out to a decent range, and that's another thing that really pushes those covert sneakers as a very powerful option. Whereas if the default footstep audio were a bit quieter, then for at least like respawn game mods, I don't think it would be as much of a crutch to use covert sneakers. Additionally, I was a bit surprised to see that Bone Conduction Headset does nothing to counter Dead Silence or Covert Sneakers, and I think for balance sake, it probably should at least counter them to some degree. I'm not saying a Dead Silence user should sound as loud as like a regular footstep, but I do think if you're choosing the perk that's specifically designed to hear footsteps, it should at least somewhat counteract the Covert Sneakers and Dead Silence field upgrade. Maybe even at like 60% of the base footstep audio level. I think that would be fair and balanced. Now, of course, these are just my opinions, and I'd love to hear what you guys think about general footstep balance in the comments section down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.